I shake collector. Welcome back to the channel. I see Tarot. I'm here to do a reading on how the person on your mind currently feels about you at this time. So let's see. How does the collective, how does the person on the collective mind currently feel about them at this time? Oh. Well, there was some type of weird energy. You know, I was. I'm thinking about, I'm going to get one on how you feel about the person that's on your mind as well. I'm going to get one on the both of you. I don't know, I feel like somebody mad at you. I think somebody mad at you right now. The way that tablet just fell, child, somebody mad at you. Let's see, how does a person on my collective mind currently feel about them at this time, Divine? Thank you. Oh, wow, we got, I left when I saw you with someone else. Child, somebody's mad at you. Somebody think you've been out here cheating on them. Have you collective? I don't know, child. I don't know. But somebody's mad. Let's see how you feel about the person on your mind. I mean, obviously you feel something because you're thinking about them, right? But let's see. What is it? How does the collective feel about the person on their mind? Wow, we got, I know it was a distraction from your pain. So you thought this person didn't even care about you, really. And this person feel like you didn't care about them because they, they feel like you cheated on them. You know, you guys could have had some type of break or something. And this person could have, like, seen you speaking to somebody else and thought that you were cheating. Let's see here. I don't know. But this person mad at you. They're mad. Let's clarify this. Clarify I love when I saw you with someone for the collective... For the person that's on my collective mind. I might have lost the words here or something. We got acceptance. Somebody feel like you don't accept them for who you are, for who they are. And you might not. Or you probably feel like this person never really showed you their true colors. Because again, I know I was a distraction from your pain. You feel like somebody here was full of pain, anxiety, worry. Like this person... They was going through something, and they was using you as a distraction. Clarify, I know it was a, a distraction from your pain. I'm stumbling all over my words. I'm going to trace songs uh, I from your heart. Did everything I asked of you. Wow, we got regret. It came out in reverse, though. I feel like you don't, you don't regret something. You don't regret leaving this person behind, but there's still some feelings here. Or maybe you do regret it. I'm going to leave it in reverse, but I'm getting it upright and in reverse. There might be still some harsh, some, some feelings here for you guys. Let's see here. Let's get some more. How does a person on my collective mind currently feel about them at this time of mine? Okay. We got, I've been looking for you and other people slash silly of me. This person has been looking for you and other people, Collective. They have. That's crazy. So this person does, they miss you. But at the same, at the same time, they're mad. They feel like you gave up on them. You gave up on a relationship. But this person was going through something. Like, this person, wow, it's crazy because on one of my other decks here, I have balance at the bottom of the deck. And in this deck, we got balance at the bottom of the deck. Something about balance, treating each other right. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world, and I do so without judgment. So there's something about a truth here. Something about a truth. Something about balance. Doing the right thing. Equal. Give me some more here. How's the person on my collective mind currently feeling about the divine? Thank you. I am going to clarify a little more for you guys. So I'm going to take these. We got they are evil minded. Back then they didn't want me. Now I'm hot. They are on me. I know y'all know that song Mike Jones back then, you know. So I'm channeling two songs here. Mike Jones back then and Trey Songs Fumbled. Did everything I asked of you. 
talk across the ocean of ass is too. Oh no, he said that. I think he did say that. I'm bad for you. I'm just bad news. I don't deserve you. I did you wrong secretly. So this person was doing something behind your back secretly. But at the same time, they still mad because they feel like you gave up on them. That's crazy. They did you dirty. They did you wrong. But they're still mad because they feel like you gave up on them. And you don't regret doing this person like this. So maybe... <clears throat> so maybe this is not so much about you. This is how this is this person... This person is still in your energy. You might still think about this person, but don't want to actually be back with them. But you're probably wondering why you're still thinking about them. And it's because this person is still thinking about you. But something to do with this person, like, they're evil-minded. Like, this person has a very big ego. They go, they going through a lot here. This is somebody that secretly goes through a lot. And they're not really talking about it. But let me just clarify here. Let's clarify here. So I don't want to make this read too long. I just want to do some quick love reading for you guys. Let's clarify. Clarify I left when I saw you with someone. We got the Ten of Swords. This person feel like you betrayed them. I'm getting a narcissist here. This person could definitely be a goddamn narcissist. I'm not even going to lie to you because I'm never getting that energy. A very selfish energy I'm getting. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Yeah, with the King of Cups in reverse. This person is very emotionally abusive. Very cold hearted. And very sensitive. This person is very sensitive. And it's because they emotionally abuse people. This person is looking for you inside other people, but they did you wrong. And you didn't accept this person. And all they bullshit, the baggage that they came with. I know I was a discussion from your pain. You knew this person was full of pain. Like, there was something going on with this person that you couldn't really put your finger on. But you didn't have time to deal with it. Clarify acceptance. You didn't have time to deal with it. And this person wanted you to accept them for who they were, for how they came to you. You got the full cups. And they're mad because the relationship is over with now. They're mad. And they can't stop thinking about you. What's the four cups here? And I just seen the seven of swords, so yeah, this person definitely did do something secretly. We got the hermit here with the empress, and you probably stopped it out. They could have been sleeping with their baby mama or something. That's why I'm getting here with this empress. They, they, they could have been sleeping with a baby mama, somebody from their past, somebody they possibly got kids with. Yeah, and they go to seven of swords. We got the world at the bottom of the deck with the seven of swords and the five of wands. Yeah, this person was definitely spreading themselves thin. They probably got kids with multiple people. And that's another thing you probably found out. They might be going through, like, child support situations, drama, messiness, with a lot of women that they've created a family with. There's something going on with this person, secretly. Something that they didn't want you to know. And I feel like you found it out. Clarify, I know it was a distraction from your pain. Damn, look at that. Everything is fine with the lovers. What is that? <laughs> oh my God, this person is emotionally abused by love. This person, oh wow. This person could be missing somebody from their past. They could be watching somebody that they used to talk to. And you could have found this out. That this person was in and out with somebody that they used to talk to. So I'm, I'm getting, this person was talking to you at a point where... And your life where you wasn't really up and up like that. You leveled up on this person. Now this person can't get you out of their mind. Because they tried to double back with somebody else from their past. Back then they didn't really want you. But now you're getting hotter and hotter. This person want to be all up on you. But you realize that you were just a distraction from this person's pain. Whatever they were dealing with. With like a baby mom or an ex or something. Or some type of mother figure. Could have just been a female in their family. Like something that they probably didn't even tell you about. I don't know but. Some of you is definitely some type of infidelity with a female in their family. I'm definitely getting that. We got the ten of swords out here twice. You knew this person was going through pain. I know I was a distraction from your pain. This person was going through pain. And they probably they probably can't choose. Like, what's this lovers? What's the lovers? 
Damn, the two of cups. What is going on here? With the ten of pentacles? Somebody literally could have just had some type of confrontation, like, with somebody that they was dealing with. Like, somebody they could have been married to or just in a relationship with. They was they was going through something with this person. And then they, and they only came to you to get away from the arguments and the drama. That's crazy. You do not regret leaving this person. That's why regret is in reverse. That's why regret in reverse. You don't regret leaving this person because you know what it was about. We got the moon. You knew exactly what this person was really on. What's the moon here? Somebody was just using you for like a for like a fun tour or something. With the king of swords, we got the high priest at the bottom. And you fought this out. You went digging to find something out here. And you blocked this person. And you found something out about this person and somebody that they used to talk to. Somebody was only coming to you to get over somebody else. But now this person, it can't stop thinking about you. They couldn't like that. It's like they couldn't choose between you and somebody else. This person was in pain either way it go when they was talking to you or when they was talking to this other person. It's crazy. Somebody has a very low vibrational way of thinking here when it comes to relationships. But again, over here at the bottom of the day, we have so many things remind me of you. You've been, you're all in this person's head, I'm telling you. For some reason, you're all in this person's head. I feel like this person was dealing with a karmic. This person was with, married to, had a baby with a karmic or something that they can't get over. What's the lovers here with the two of cups? If that has nothing to do with you... This person bought you in the middle of it. We got the world. This is crazy. Six of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely about a third party. Or this person could like, this also could be talking about this person seeing you with somebody else. I don't know, child. This is kind of... I know, but it's like... It's so backwards. What's this King of Cups in reverse? Because this person is like emotionally abusive. And selfish. What's the King of Cups in reverse? Because the King of Cups is in reverse. We got the Ace of Pentacles here with the Hang One. Somebody didn't see something about you clearly. You was a gift to somebody with this Ace of Pentacles, but somebody couldn't see that. This person is very selfish. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? You was a gift to this person. With the High Priestess. It's like you were supposed to help this person through their pain. Or something like that. But this person like dubbed in their pain. They was happy to be going through pain. Secretly. Let me see here. Clarify, I've been looking for you and other people silly of me. They thought that they could get something. Like, this, I feel like this person was dealing with you and somebody else. And they was feeling like a very a very genuine energy. But they couldn't tell who exactly who, who exactly it was coming from. You or the other person. We got the three of wands. Yeah, this person has been looking for you and other people here. And they can't find it. Because it's your energy. Clarify the three of wands. They can't find it. Somebody's missing you like crazy. We got the five of wands here with the ten of cups. And they're looking for it in other people that they used to talk to. Other people that they thought that they used to be happy with. They could have been happy with these people at one point in time. But it was all a facade. It was all fake. A front. Clarify they are evil minded. Just know that the person that's on your mind right now, they're going through a lot. We got the four of wands. What's this for, Warren? They're going through a lot right now. With the death. They really, it's, it's over with for this relationship. Ooh. Somebody like wants to end you too because you don't want to be with them. The only reason why this person is on your mind and you're thinking about them is because this person is heavily thinking about you. They, they, they are heavily thinking about you. What is going on with this person that's on my collective mind right now when it comes to my collective? This person, who we got the star, a healing energy. What's the star? You healed somebody. You was helping somebody heal. 
through bullshit that you didn't even know that they was really going through. Like, you knew they was going through something because you was guarded. Mm-hmm. But you didn't know exactly what they was going through. But you knew they was in some type of pain here. And they was using you as a distraction. But they didn't exactly tell you what it was, though. You was healing this person. They tried to act like they didn't know. They didn't know where the healing energy was coming from. And try to double back with somebody else when the healing energy was actually coming from you. I feel like they really did know. I, I really do. I feel like somebody was siphoning your energy, taking it back to somebody else. The only reason why this person is on your mind right now is because this person is trying to manifest you back into their life. They really are. Because of your healing energy. Somebody wants to use up, suck you dry. They want to suck you dry of your healing energy. Clarify this, I don't deserve you. I did you wrong secretly. We got the identification card. Somebody don't deserve you because of who you truly are. You're very sweet and loving. Very, very loving and kind. But you're like, you're intuitive at the same time. Like you like you get downloads about things. Nothing can get past you for too long. Even if it slip, it slip away for a little while, eventually it's like you catch up with it. Like you see something for what it truly is. Clarify this identification card. And somebody feel like they don't, they don't deserve you. And they don't. This person don't deserve you. We got the highest thing. And now somebody wants you back. You made somebody very happy. Very happy. And they lost it. You walked away from them. Because something was exposed about this person. Dealing with somebody else, I believe. You probably found this person was married. You could have found out this person was married. The thing that they did behind your back secretly was going back to a marriage. This person was using you as a distraction from their wife. That's exactly what I'm feeling here. What's the higher thing? But this person wants to have their cake and eat it too. They want the both of you. We got the temperance. They want the both of you. Seriously, they want the both of you. What's this four of wands here with dove? With, but they are evil minded. This person has a massive ass ego. They want the both of you. You got the seven of wands, but you're protecting yourself from this person. Especially your spirit team. There's an ancestor here with this death card. Clarify about the death card. There's an ancestor here that's protecting you. That's like helping you out here. You got the eight of wands. Yeah, there's an ancestor here that's guiding you to move away from uh, certain things, people. Not even just this person, but they definitely guided you to move away from this person here. To end it out. Because something wasn't right. Clarify back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot they all on me. Oh my god. I see the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, we got the Five of Cups here and the Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Back then they didn't want you, but now you hot they all on you. Yeah. And that could be, it's big what it is right now. You could have just reconciled with somebody from your past, somebody that you used to, like, have a crush on or something like that from childhood. And this person's only talking to you right now because they're married and going through problems in their marriage. And they're just going back and forth talking to you and their wife. And, like, you're starting to question something. They could be what this is, too. This could have been somebody that you, that you know, you grew up with. Somebody from middle school, high school. That's getting back in contact with you. Back then, they didn't want you, but now you're getting hotter and hotter. They all on you. But this person is going through something here. And your intuition is going to reveal this to you. This person is sad about something. What's this five of cups? Oh, we got the judgment. This person is being judged. This person used to judge you. They definitely used to judge you. What's the judgment here? They used to judge you back in the day. We got the ace of swords and the nine of cups. Yeah, somebody here is definitely selfish. But somebody's starting to see the truth in you. Somebody's starting to see some type of truth about you. And it could be a lot of people that's seeing this. Especially, you know, I'm getting, definitely getting something about childhood. Like, people from high school, middle school or something. Or people from the neighborhood. There's some neighborhood gossip going on right now when it comes to you. And this person. This person is, like, talking about you somehow. I don't know, I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot here. There's a lot going on here. Let me get some from here. I 
feel like there's a lot going on. Ooh, we. But somebody definitely see you see you as a healer though. I feel like this person is talking to you for all the wrong reasons. Let's get some more here. What else is going on in this situation for the person that's on my collective mind? I just need a tarot reader. This is, you could be a tarot reader here. This person could be getting tarot readers about you. Or looking at videos about you. We got 35 here. So what about 35 is very significant. Eight. Somebody could be contacting you. So this could be talking about a future reading. Somebody from your past contacting you this year. Let's get some more here. And I see how healing you are. But really this person is just going through something here. We got bad investments. So somebody's going through something here. That they probably don't even want you to know about. Let's get some more. What's going on with the person on my collective mind? We got why do you keep going? Let's get one more. I don't want to get too many. I don't want to make the reading too long. Okay, so we got metamorphosis here where they judge how you look and act. What I say? This person used to judge you back in the day, and now you done grown to be a beautiful ass butterfly. This person used to judge the fuck out of you. So this is definitely like a um, like a high school person or something like that. Somebody from back in the day that didn't used to really want you like that, but now this person is like they trying to manifest you. You could be you could be out the blue just thinking about this person. And this could definitely be somebody from, like I say, middle school or high school. You just you just thinking about this person out of nowhere. You know, probably the one that looked them up on Facebook and stuff. Just wondering why you're thinking about them. Because this person is watching you somehow. And they're trying to manifest you. They're thinking about you. And shit, they probably even be jacking out to so see a picture or something like that. I don't know. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. But this person definitely used to judge you back in the day. You was like that social, like, butterfly type of person or like a loner, the person that didn't really talk to too many people. Like, a lot of people look down on you, like, they second guess you. Clarify this, they judge how you look and act with the metamorphosis. We got the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, like that, like a nerd. Like, you, like you see, and, and look at that. <laughs> and it's showing the book bag, so this would definitely be somebody from high school. From your teenage years. I'm telling you. Like you, you was looked at like the like the nerd or something, and now people are seeing you grow into this like this like metamorphosis, this beautiful butterfly. Seriously, clarify this thirty five. Somebody trying to manifest you. We got the King of Wands, and this person is like secretly going through a lot here, and they're very controlling. They could definitely be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Somebody here is very controlling, and they're going through a lot. And somebody's like thinking about you. This is this is definitely I'm telling you, this is this is for somebody here that had was probably you probably had a crush on this person. This was probably like the high school, middle school jock, and you were that, that person that was um like just lame. That's what I'm getting here. Now this person wants to come back into your life though. Clarify bad investment. This person got a lot going on. We got the three of swords here. This person is heartbroken over something. They going through something here with somebody from that they talk to. What's the three of swords? I thought this is just talking about a creature reader for some of you. It could be talking about a pre a present situation, but I feel like for most of you, this is talking about a future situation. And they go to sign. Somebody's going through here from, with somebody that they're dating or they're married to or something. Somebody's breaking up here with somebody. Y'all gonna say this energy is a resonate, baby. There's a lot going on here. But let me get let me get something to close it out. Let's get something to close it out. Let me get one more to close it out. Ooh. We got it was my fault, but I blamed you and we need to let each other go. I don't know what that's about. Clarify we need to let each other go. This is probably you telling this person that we need to let each other go or something. And we got the devil. What's the devil here? We got the knight of cups. Yeah, this is what you're going to be telling this person. This, so this is definitely, again, for some of you, this could definitely be somebody that you dated back then. You could have definitely dated this person. And y'all ain't talked for years. 
And what you don't know is that this person is going through something with somebody else in their life. And it's going to be a situation where this person is going to be talking to you. Y'all going to talk for a little while, get cordial, reconcile and everything. And you're going to find out this person is actually using you as a distraction for somebody that they're going through something with. That's what I'm getting here. And you're going to tell this person we need to let each other go because you're too low vibrational. You're too toxic. You're going to get some type of download about something. I'm telling you, this person is very, very toxic. You probably ain't paid no no mind to this person, no attention to this person. And you just out of the, out the blue, you're going to get some type of contact. Especially because this is the year of karma. This is the year of reconciliation. The year where people double back. People are going to be double backing from your past. Clarify, I, it was my fault, but I blamed you. We got the Queen of Cups here. Somebody knew you was very loving and kind to them. What's the Queen of Cups? You cared about somebody here. You really did. We got the Magician. With the will of fortune. Somebody said you manifesting a lot for yourself here. And they want to be a part of it. That's basically what this is. Somebody want to be a part of everything that's going on. Look at the eight of pentacles. Somebody want to be a part of everything that you're, that's going on in your life right now. Somebody said you working very hard on yourself. Some type of craft. Your business. Something. They see you working very hard. And they see that you're going to have a lot of things coming in for you. And they trying to figure out a way to get in. That's what I'm getting here. So I'm trying to figure out a way to like get back into your good graces, even if you ain't spoke to them in years. So again, back then they didn't want you, but now you how they all on you, baby. That's exactly what this is. Exactly what this is. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it out right there for you guys, collective. Hopefully you guys got something from it, and I'll see you in the next video. I say.